Let's talk a little bit about districts first of all. We pulled out a close one against Jones County. Uh, that was the team that we lost to a couple weeks before district started in the regular season. What was the difference in the district tournament then? The first game that we played was White River and it was a team that, that was a very competitive team and we had beat them earlier in the year but they had lost three players when we played them earlier so they had a totally different look our first game in the districts and we, I believe we were up one point at halftime we really played a good second half and up beating them by 18 and that put us in the championship against Jones County as you had mentioned a couple weeks earlier Jones had beat us pretty handily over in Jones County over in the Myrtle Auditorium by I believe it ended up nine points but they beat us in about every faction of the game the score actually probably could have been worse we you know that for that night we were off shooting but i think a lot of it you know was their defense they played they had more energy they had more enthusiasm and then we uh, got another shot at them in the district tournament we were anxious to play them again we knew that we didn't um, have the best game before that we played with them and it was a great game I think there are 20 or 21 lead changes throughout the game. I think the largest lead for either team was four points. We were up one point at the end of the first. I think we were up one at half. They were up one at the end of the third. And both teams battled, battled and battled. It was, a, I think from a spectator standpoint, a really, really good game. But we made plays down the stretch. Our girls, I think, maybe leaned on some of their experience in some other big venues that they have, whether it was um, in volleyball in districts, regions, and state, or even from last year when we beat Jones County in the district tournament last year. We knew we could beat them. We knew it was really going to be tough. And we were fortunate to come out on top that night. Then in the regions, you, uh, you took on New Underwood, who was a District 14 champion. And you had beat them by 20 in the regular season, but the region championship game was a little bit closer than that. And why was that? It was a tale of two games. We had played them in New Underwood, which is a very, very tough to, place to play. That was approximately five weeks before we played them in the region. And it was a game that might have been our best defensive effort of the whole year, especially in the regular season where we got to their shooters. They have a big girl that's about six foot one. We did a very nice job on her. Had some different schemes that we ran at her, doubling her, fronting her, had great weak side help. And once, uh, when she wasn't scoring, um, they do have some shooters and they weren't hitting that night. We had got out on them good and did that. But we knew coming into the region it was going to be a totally different team. The stakes are totally different. Regular season games compared to districts and obviously a state berth was on the line against New Underwood and it was uh, another fantastic game I think especially from a fan standpoint. We played at Wall where we had a neutral site. Great crowds. Lyman had a great crowd. New Underwood had a great crowd. Both very noisy. Both um, into the game. We were down, we got up early on them, I think six or eight points early in the game. We had a off second quarter, I think we only scored two or three points and they were actually up five at halftime. I think it was 21 to 16, had the momentum and we were scrabbling around at that time a little. Their zone, they played a two, three zone, really active. And again, I'd mentioned they got a big girl in the middle, but they're, the people on the perimeter were very, very active. And this night they were making their shots. They got a couple real good shooters and they were on, they were hitting big shots and that's what you do in big games. Second half got going, we scored a couple buckets, our confidence went up and the game was on. It was game on at that time. Got back into the game and again, both teams you know, traded leads all through the third into the fourth quarter. We made the, the stretch down the last minute, minute and a half, made free throws, didn't turn the basketball over, stopped them on defense, so all those things culminated in a great win for us in the Region 7 Championship. Now this wasn't your first <clears throat> state tournament. You won as a player, you have went as a coach for the boys team, and you've been to state tournaments on amateur teams. Now you've taken a girls team. <laughs> uh, what made this state tournament special to you? You know, I think when you reflect on that, and you know, first of all, very fortunate to get an opportunity, played with many, many good players, had many, many good players that I coached, was fortunate in 83 to go and play in a state tournament, and then we won it in 85, and again, very, very, we were very well coached. Mike McDonald had a bunch of really, really good players on our team from Keith Moore to Garrett Moore to Dan Donovan, the Rayburn Twins, Todd Vollmer. You can go down the, go down the list there, a lot of very, very good players. 
in the 90s, got a chance to come back to Lyman and coach the boys, and our 96 team got second runner-up. Had awesome players, a ton of talent, without a doubt. Had I had a you know, couple great assistant coaches, some of the players, Cody Vollmer, Lee Severn, Lonnie Heyer, to name a few. And then had a chance, was out of the coaching business for 13 years and had a chance to coach the girls again. And when I reflect on the big picture, I think the older you get, you realize how special moments like these are because they don't come too often. We look at our girls program, the last time we played in the state tournament was 1989, so that was you know, 25 years ago or so. So really, really feel fortunate, feel blessed. It's been a wonderful experience to have the opportunity to do it, and we we're fortunate to have the players that you know played team basketball and, and had great games, big games for us, and had the will to win. And was fortunate, you know, this year to win the district region and get seventh place in the state tournament. So, very fortunate. A lot of different aspects, I guess, from player to coach. But you know, if I had to wrap it up, I'd just say, the older you get, the the more special maybe things are because you don't know if it'll ever happen again or if you get that opportunity. Speaking of it uh, happening again, what's our outlook with as many freshmen as we have uh, playing? You know, they're going to get a lot of playing time the next couple three years. Is there another possibility that we'll go back to state again? I think there's. A, you have an awesome core coming back. You have Cedar Jandra and Ashley Mortensen, two juniors that played a ton this year. They played key roles. They actually both started on and off at different times during the year. You have one sophomore who I think you'd see a lot of time next year, Phoenix Scholl. She's really worked hard and got better in that respect. And then a freshman class that you just mentioned, um, Brooklyn Helverson, you know, today is probably, you know, one of, one of the top or top 10 or 15 freshmen in the state at the B level. So that's really something that we'll build around. But there's just a, the freshman class has many numbers and a lot of ability from Ashton Smith to Hannah Theory. You could just go down, down the list with them and name all. I think there's a total of nine of them. So we'll, we'll see who stays out. You know, that will be a key and, and see if this has really, you know, lit a spark because I think it has. You know, we're back on the map and these girls got some state tournament experience and they, they see what, you know, they're, they're hardworking kids. We have a great community that supports basketball. We've had parents over the years that get them going when they're third, fourth, and fifth grade, which is a huge huge part of you know building a program too so this couldn't be more pleased you know where our program is right now and there's a potential i think for it to go higher